Hey there, it's Textile Dude, and I thought I would make a video today demonstrating uh, how to do a overshot uh, pattern on a four shaft loom. I'm using my Dorothy table loom, Meko te technically. Uh, it's 22 inch wide uh, piece of uh, cloth I'm working on, 260 ends. I do have floating selvages, and I would highly recommend that because the pattern weft is going to make a mess of things if you don't have uh, floating selvages. Uh, this particular overshot uh, uh, does require tabby in between each pattern weft. Uh, this is my tabby thread and this is my pattern so I'm using 8-8 cotton for the pattern and 4-8 cotton for the uh, tabby. My warp is also 4-8 uh, cotton. Uh, so it's a rather complicated pattern. I've made myself a little cheat sheet here. Uh, so there's about, oh geez, if you include the tabby, about 50 steps, 50 picks, just to make one iteration of this pattern. Uh, the pattern, by the way, can be found in Ann Dixon's book on page 105. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a couple picks, just so you get the idea of what Overshot looks like, or how it's basically done. So if I look at my pattern uh, sheet here, my first pick in the uh, pattern weft, so I, when I ended, I ended on a tabby to hold everything together. So I'm starting again at the beginning of my pattern, and my first pick is shafts 2 and 3. And then I go ahead and do my uh, pattern weft here, and I'm going over top of my selvage, floating selvage on one side, and underneath on the other, and I'll always be doing that. Oops. Uh, Pardon, this happens, happens to everybody. All right, gotta get me some uh, boat shovels. All right, so there goes my first pattern pick. It in. And then I'm gonna do the first of my tabbies, which is shaft one to three, using now my tabby work. I haven't been paying too much attention to over under in terms of my uh, selvages. With a floating selvage, everything's pretty much just working out half decently, so I'm not terribly concerned about it. So now again, over my floating selvage and under, this is the first of my uh, tabby picks. Line that up, my little triangle. And now I'm doing my second of my pattern, which is shafts three and four. So again, I'm going back to my, my colored pattern uh, weft here. Oops. that in. It's a little heavier, the uh, pattern rest, so you're leaving a little bit bigger of a triangle. And now a tabby again, but this time it's the opposite tabby. It's shafts two and four. So my tabby is shafts one, three, two, and four. One, three, two, and four. So this is my two and four tabby. Oh, I'll give myself enough slack here. Give that a little beat. Okay, I'm gonna move my little marker down here. I got these book darts from Lee Valley. So now I'm pattern weft is one four. So that's back to my colored weft. Shafts one and four. Just one and four. And my tabby pick is back to being one and three. Again is one and four. So you'll see this often in overshot patterns where they repeat the same uh, shafts for uh, the uh, pattern uh, pick several times. And you can do that because in between there's tabbies to anchor everything down. So this is the second of my one and four uh, pattern picks. And back to tabby, which now is two and four. And then 
and for the third time I'm doing one and four as a, um, a pattern pick. And my tabby is back to being one and three. And that's it. I'm going to move my little marker down on my uh, chart here. So what I've done here is I've written the pattern. And then this O and T, T is tabby, O is tabby two. I don't know why I put O's, it's easier to see. So I've written those in between the lines of each of my uh, pattern wefts. Uh, and the T reminds me it's tabby one and three. The O reminds me it's tabby two and four. So I kind of go, you know, pattern, tabby, pattern, tabby, pattern, tabby, and constantly move my marker down. So now I'm set up here. My next one will be a pattern weft of one and two but my tabby after that will be shafts two and four. Yeah, I hope that helps you visualize a little bit what's involved. Um, it's quite mentally demanding. You don't want to be distracted. Um, it's a, a, have a good chart so you can mark where you are. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about all I'll say. I'm not an expert. This is my first time doing it, but it's coming out to be a nice pattern and I'm really uh, stoked about it. So that's kind of a basic uh, overshot how it works.